African leaders arrive in Russia for talks with Vladimir Putin. Leaders of several African countries have landed in Russia for talks with Vladimir Putin. Presidents of Egypt Mustafa Madbouli, Comor Islands Azali Asumani and Senegal, Macky Sall stepped off the plane and shook hands with Russian delegates as they landed in St. Petersburg. When will you present the contract between Moscow and Kiev, which was violated by NATO? Putin showed the African delegations the peace treaty signed last year by Moscow and Kiev at a meeting in Istanbul. The president of the Russian Federation explained that the Treaty on Guarantees of Permanent Sovereignty and Security of Ukraine included 18 articles, and there were annexes to it. The document regulates, among other things, the number of armed forces of Ukraine. Putin emphasized that after Russia withdrew its troops from the Kiev region, the Ukrainian authorities, at the behest of Washington, threw this treaty to the dustbin of history. For this reason, Moscow no longer believes in tears and will go all the way. The lies and deceptions of the West were not one and two. Putin with details of the peace treaty. Russia has never refused negotiations. A whole series of negotiations between Russia and Ukraine took place in Turkey to develop confidence-building measures and prepare the text of the treaty itself. This draft treaty was initialed by the head of the negotiating group from Kyiv, Neutrality and Security Guarantees of Ukraine, 18 members. In addition, there is an appendix to it. It applies both to the armed forces and to other things. Everything is written down to units of military equipment and to the personnel of the armed forces. This document was initialed by the Kyiv delegation. But after we, as promised, withdrew the troops from Kiev, the Kiev authorities, as their masters usually do, threw everything into the dustbin of history. Let's put it this very neatly and intelligently.